Hi there, this is Kim with Mom's Creative Moments. And um, it's been a little while, but I just wanted to get back in touch with you after now that the holidays are over. And um, and I've had some bouts with um, a wicked cold that was not COVID, but you know, it was still no fun um, and has been lingering. So I apologize for not posting much uh, recently, but um, I wanted to get back with you with just a couple of basic videos to help you with your Creative Memories albums. Um, this particular album is currently in Last Chance or um, it has been recently. I'm not sure if it's all gone yet, um, but it went with our one of our winter themes from um, a couple of years back. Um, and actually it was one of my favorite collections called Winter Woods. So um, if you have that paper pack, then you know how beautiful it is. Um, and today I'm just gonna, or in this video very quickly, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to add pages to your cover sets. So this is a brand new cover set I'm just opening. And um, when you open your brand new cover set, you'll find that there is a handy instruction sheet that will explain how to use our, it helps if it's right side up. Um, <laughs> excuse me, it'll explain how to use our Flex Hinge album um, binding system. And, um, and though it is pretty easy to follow these photos and see how it works, sometimes it's helpful to actually see someone doing it. So I'm gonna show you here just very quickly how that works. Um, it also comes with this really cool um, piece of construction or you know cardboard that's reinforced um, just to help the um, album stay in good shape and not sag or anything like that it gives it support. You can just toss that or save it for another craft project or something like that. Um, we're not going to use it from this point forward. We're going to take the, the binding off and you do that by just slipping it out. It comes right out and just set that to the side. And um, you can see I have some papers underneath here, some pages I'm gonna be adding to this album. So I'm gonna just set those aside here for just a moment as well, um, just to make my work surface a little bit easier to manage. Okay, so we're gonna flip this open, lay it flat. You can see that you have two additional white pieces of plastic. You also have two opaque straps um, that go through those um, covers and the two pieces of plastic. On the one that is hinged to the back, I always um, unhinge the back one, leave the front one alone. Try not to ever unhinge the front one. I have found that um, it just really works better if you just work with the back one. And you're gonna unhinge it or unlace it. So push, push this way through that, through this plastic piece right here and then unlace it. You're gonna push it back this way now through the bottom one. Okay, now that we've done that and these are free of our um, plastic bar, we're gonna just lift the back cover right off and free that up. And we're going to lift the bar up and just set that on here. Now our, um, our laces essentially are ready to receive pages. So I'm gonna take my pages. In this case, when I work on an album, I tend to work on my pages in a loose fashion. That way, um, if something comes up and I need to reorganize them or something, I don't have to completely undo my album to rearrange my pages, although that is possible, it's an option. I just prefer not to do it that way. All right, so keep your pages in the order that you'd like them to be and your hinges all in the same place. And then you're gonna take your plastic lace and push it up through those hinges. Now, the, the only time that this is tricky is if you are using maybe a different size page in between. Um, occasionally in my Christmas albums, I do at least one per year. I put in an eight and a half by 11 size page that holds my Christmas letter 
Um, and it's, it's just an easy thing for me to do. I don't have to mount it. It's clear on both sides because I print both sides of a piece of paper to make my Christmas letter. And so it works um, easier for me. Oh, I apologize. I do have ink on there. That's from some Valentine's Day stuff we've been doing here lately. Anyway, um, so when you're using a different size page in between your 12 by 12 pages, occasionally those hinges can get lost. So just be sure you've got all of the hinges on your lace and then come, come down here to the bottom and do the same thing. Push that plastic lace right up through all of your hinges and make sure that they are flat and nice and snug. All right, then you're gonna take this bar and you're going to go ahead and put this bar right um, back on. So you're going to lace it through. Can you see that? You're gonna lace that right through and make sure that sits nice and flat on your page, on your last page. All right, and by, by no means am I going to only have this number of pages in this particular album, um, but just for the sake of showing you how this is done, I'm just using a few pages. So then you're going to add your back, go up underneath the back and thread your laces through and then pull those tight until your back lays flat on that uh, flex hinge, all right? Now what you're gonna do, or what I usually typically do is I bend this up, bend the back part up to make it as much of a 90 degree um, angle as I can. And I lace my laces first the top one through the bottom lace on both, I'm sorry, the top, then the bottom, just through the bottom lace. Do you see that? So I haven't come back through the top yet, only through the bottom. And I'm keeping this snug, okay? I'm holding this with my hand. You can see, kind of see that, all right? And then, what I'm going to do is come back through there we go back through here okay and I'm going to pull that and I'm going to pull that tight so that it's nice and snug right here you shouldn't have more any more of a gap than that between your back piece of your album cover and your pages all right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing up here to the top hinge, supporting it so that it stays nice and snug, nice and close. All right, so then when you open the album, this is as much of a gap as you wanna see right here, okay? If you have more of a gap, it will make your album sloppy and your pages will kind of slip slide around and, um, you don't want that, you want it to be nice and tight like a book. So it'll, it'll stay together better. Then you can close this. Obviously we need to put the cover binding back on. Start with the pointed edge and it will slip right in between. You can see there is a gap. Here we go. A gap right here between the um, cover set like a, a little window kind of. And so you're going to slide the binding right into that spot on both the front cover and the back cover. You can feel it with your hand when it's in the right place. All right, so do the pointed end first and then this rounded edge makes it super easy to just slide it. Whoop. I'm sorry, I can't, I didn't notice that you couldn't see. Um, so the, the rounded edge makes it super easy to just pivot it right in and then you just slide it right in and it works beautifully. Now, once you have your album completed and you maybe you wanna do a custom spine, you can order a custom spine through our digital component on the company 
website on my website and um and and customize your spine which looks beautiful on your um, bookshelf and those spines come to you completely flat and then you just do the same thing we just did with this spine put the pointed ends in the corners here and it it will gently bend and and just slide it right on in and um, and then you can have a custom spine on any album that you have in your um, bookshelf all right so i hope this has been helpful for you um, should you have any questions of course please post them in the comments and i will look forward to seeing you the next time we get together thanks so much keep creating